somebody who has a heart and loves love, and I think that's what's so important about it. And it's what started so much of rock musical theater. I think the show has a really great sound, and people are coming to the show for the music and the way the music's sounding. <laughs> Well, you know, it's just so high energy and it's everyone's on stage the whole time and it's really an ensemble piece, which I love about it. It's such a beautiful thing to have everyone have their moment to shine. Oh, especially people who care about strangers. The older generations are actually introducing their teenage children or grandchildren to the show. So the greatest thing about this revival is maybe we're turning on a whole other generation who, you know, 40 years from now are going to bring their kids to. I'm just so happy that this opportunity is furthering the life of the show. That makes me really happy. I have five granddaughters here tonight. So that's going to be a thrill for them. We are very looking forward to it. We're going to take our children. We're going to thank you for and the, the for grandparents. Yes. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter lies with Mars, then peace will guide the planet and love. It's fun to be able to do a show and be a part of a show that is so connected to the audience and see the twinkle in these people's eyes. Like to see them 12 years old again experiencing theater with us, which is great. It's just like a pure adrenaline rush of energy coming from us and we're just like pushing it onto the audience and they're just like accepting it, receiving it and taking it out into the world. It's amazing. But the best thing about what you're doing, and this is a compliment they gave me, is that you look really free. Like you're kind of like a maniac up there. At the end, I was crying again. And then, you know, you rise up out of your seat and you just want to go dancing down the aisles. It was glorious. It was great. He's never dies.